am off. I thought I had a light on. We did, I had a light on. Anyways, I am off to the kids' school. This light. <laughs> like, where's the lights? Anyways, I am off to the school to have a meeting with, ooh, it's creepy. <laughs> with Theron's teachers. So that's what's up next on the agenda today. So that was fun. I'm back from the school uh, and basically we just had to sit down and Theron has now an IEP, which here in the States, if you don't know, is just a little, um, it's basically they've done some testing and he qualifies to get some extra help. So it does not, it's not outside of the norm for our family, our boys. They've always taken a little bit longer to learn things like reading and struggling in those different areas and it's no different for this kid than them so <laughs> um, I am glad that we were able to get him help early on instead of learning about it in sixth grade I think or fourth fifth grade with Curtis so anyway it's at first grade second grade instead of fifth which is great basically I feel a little bit more at ease that we've got him covered on all grounds um, and I told them if this is not horrible, I think homework is ridiculous. And so I told them, I'm sorry, my kids just might not turn in homework. You guys have my kids for eight hours a day. Figure it out. <laughs> I know that some things they need to practice on and I'm not against them doing things like reading and, and stuff like that. But when you send my kid home with a math page, three pages long, practice this. They've been practicing that. Like, no, they need to be kids and they've been at school for eight hours and I'm pretty sure they're fine and they're scoring fine on everything. So anyway, so the principal said opting out. What I meant to say was writing opting out up above and sign my name. <laughs> I might just do that just for the record. Anyway, so I think that was um, pretty... Uh, I don't know, I was a little stressed out about it, but I'm glad that it's all worked out and we've got the kids all figured out, or at least Theron's all figured out now. So, ending the school year, great. They still have a few more weeks, and then I don't know if I'm gonna have them do summer school or not, but that might be something that we should do, just to get them out of the house, because they do fun activities there too. So we'll see how that pans out. Anyway, that's the school situation. Look at these crazies. Weird too. Pick them up. Ew, yeah. Ew, look at that fat man. Just kidding. <laughs> Want to ride? here for three hours. <laughs> Do you like a ride? Get in. Yay. <laughs> Just don't choke us with your shoelaces. <laughs> I ride in the trunk. No. <laughs> no. He doesn't have a voice. Captain Hook. So if you uh, if you order, what is it called? Select. Create your own. Create your own. If you come into McDonald's and create your own, and bring it out in little little metal baskets and crap. Look at Jake's fancy you know. Built his burger and now it's all fancy and stuff. We got an emoji. He lost his voice, guys. It's JK. That's JK. Oh. JK. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, oh wait, no, yeah, we all got little baskets for our fries. What do you think about that, Bridger? Bridger's came in a box, it didn't come in a basket. His fries did. No, but his, Nobody's uh, burgers except for mine came in a basket because I it? customized mine. Oh, you customized it. That's the trick. If you want it to come in a basket. My burger is biashal. Every time I was like, Mom. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. Mom. How big is that? Like, oh my gosh. Becky. Mom. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> I was a uh, every time I go to McDonald's, I have to take a crap. So I have to take a crap. <laughs> Did you just hear him? Every time I have to go to McDonald's, I have to take a crap. Congrats on that one. Thank you. Yeah, whatever, yo. Thank you, 
refrigerator. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Uh oh, it must have fried. Please, please, I'm just gonna pull that down. Please. I think it's getting wrinkled. Whoa. Creepy. Talk to you out of the passenger garbage. Thank you. Oh, I dumped one of those in. Thank you. Oh, you did? <laughs> Um, Bridger left the thing. Did you see that little? I. Go slow mo. It. Did you see that? He left a little metal <coughs> basket on there. Two. No, three. Two, three of them. And then it squished it. Did it kill it? No, there was one in there already. <laughs> People no. are throwing them away. Because they're not used to having nice little metal baskets. No. <coughs> no. Anyways. I'm sorry, McDonald's. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, whatever, yo. <laughs> oh, it hurt. Bless you. Uh, Tell I'm the vlog what I'm, you're afraid of. I'm scared of guinea pigs. <laughs> Why? Like, they look at you and then they're like, oh, look at that carrot, and then they look back. <laughs> like, Why is that scary? And then just like, don't stop staring. They don't blink, and I was like, wanna. They make cool help. noises. Did you hear them tonight? No. They were crazy. They made cool noises. Well, they like. They're like. <laughs> I don't know. If that's how you make a guinea pig sound. <laughs> they freak you out. Yeah. Freaky. And so like, what if I said we were bringing those guinea pigs home? I'd be fine with it. It's just like uh, it's kind of scary. You're like guinea pigs are freaky. Yeah. They're kind of like big old rats. Huge rats. That's why they scare me. Because they're rats. They're, they're not rats. They're guinea pigs. They're technically rats. They're not rats. I just had not. Uh, don't do that. Just kidding.